Like, ah! Oh my God, something's in there. No, I cannot make this up. Hello guys, what is up and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a very exciting one because I am actually reopening my series where I unbox used Kardashian slash Jenner clothing. So I did a series where I individually tried out all the Kardashian and Jenner used clothing from KardashianCloset.com. I pretty much finished the series and we had a lot of fun with it, but ever since I finished it, I've gotten nonstop requests to bring it back and do more. So here's the thing, I ordered from all the sisters and figured I would do one more video just have some fun. Honestly, every time they add new stuff to the closet on Kardashian Closet, you guys tag me and are like, hello, try some of the stuff out. So that's honestly what inspired me doing this. I saw Kylie had added a bunch of stuff. So you guys were like, can you please try it out? So I've had a whole bunch of stuff from all the sisters, which we are gonna be going through. I'm so excited. My box has been sitting here for like a week and I've been wanting to dive into it. Also shout out to Casefy. Thank you for partnering with me for a portion of today's video. We're gonna be jumping in and talking a little bit about my favorite, favorite phone cases in just a second. But if you guys are excited to see us unbox some clothing and you know the routine to this series, be sure and give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and let's go ahead and jump right in. If you guys don't know what Casetify is, I hope you do, but if you don't, they are a unique tech accessory brand providing all kinds of phone cases, AirPod cases, and unique tech accessories. So my favorite products from them are definitely their phone cases. Here are a few of mine. This one I've used for a really long time. This one has like the funky psychedelic smiley faces on it. By the way, all these comes, they come in like so many different colors. I also have this brown one here. They're totally customizable. You can write your full name. You can do initials. I just chose initials and I really liked the neutral coloring case. The one I've had on my phone a while is this one that says Los Angeles. It's like a boarding pass. I just think it's so cool and honestly I get so many compliments on it. Another reason I like this specific one is because of one how slim it is but I also like that this is an impact case. So their impact cases are engineered with two layers protection. The two layer construction it's called Chi Tech, so it's a special construction on the phone case. It's really gonna protect your phone. I drop my phone literally at least once a day, but I probably drop it hard at least once a week getting out of my car. I mean, this sucker has just face down and every time it's protected, and I'm so grateful I just put my phone case on and leave it on there. I'm like, Thank God, it literally never breaks. You can feel good about your phone cases because they are made of partly recycled materials, which is also, I also got Ty hooked on it. He ordered two for him, Erin ordered some for her. They have little cactuses, whatever you prefer. I like the funkier ones, they have little moo cow prints. This is another impact case here that I really like. So I have a bunch of them, I'm obsessed, I switch them out. I also have an anti-microbial coating on it, which keeps your phone 99% germ free, and I know we love that. It kills 99% bacteria. They have an endless plethora of phone cases, plus they have customizing options too. You guys can go to caseify.com forward slash Laura Lee to get 15% off your phone case today. Be sure and check it out. I'll have it in the description box right down below. And with that being said, my friends, let's go ahead and unbox this Kardashian closet. So jumping into this adventure, first of all, this is my most expensive order. I do believe I spent $1,700. That is a, a load of money. I actually spent $1,600 and then we had shipping and taxes. Um, so the shipping's $15. If you order something off there, just heads up on that. Uh, my taxes was $153. <laughs> comes with the territory of buying expensive things. Uh, I bought like some like pricey things. <laughs> I also bought this pair of boots from Kim and I'm really excited about them. And if they work out for me, I'm gonna be like really excited. Okay, so our first item is whoop, sliding right out. I like that they wrap each piece in a little piece of tissue paper. It comes like this. And our first piece is from Kylie. It is a Charlotte Knowles top. This is really expensive. This top is $275. I'm honestly uneducated on the brand Charlotte Knowles. I don't know a lot about it, but a couple of the sisters had at the time. They take stuff off the site uh, pretty soon as it sells. They had a bunch of this brand on there. So here is the tag. Ooh. So this one does not come with tags. This is a used piece. It smells like a person. 
And you guys know I have to smell it. It's part of the video. But it smells like a person. Like it doesn't, it almost smells like a fragrance. It doesn't smell like a store. And I don't see any damages to it. Like I don't see any markings on it. And I honestly think this shirt, would I typically pay $2.75 if I was like in the store shopping? I wouldn't, but I don't know. If I'm going to buy something nice, it's probably a bag or shoes. I tend to not um, buy as much designer clothing per se. I think this is actually gonna be really cute on and I'm excited to try it on. It is a sheer green and blue like periwinkle type shirt, but I think it's really cute. I feel like these little sheer shirts, they had like so many pieces on there from Charlotte Knoll, like the dresses, the shirts, and they're all like very sheer like this. So I think that's just like that brand style clothing, but very trendy right now. So I'm into it. I think it's very cute and we'll be trying it on in just a second, but yeah. I think Kylie probably has worn this a time or two because it smells like a person, if that makes sense. <laughs> really excited to try that one on. Okay, let's see what else is in our box. Ooh, okay, we have another piece of clothing here. We're just gonna pull it right out. This piece as well was used. It was not new with the tag. So this one is an Olivia Von Haley size two skirt. I believe this was Kindles. Smells like a person again. <laughs> um, but I think this is just like a really beautiful staple piece. It's just a plain black skirt that looks like this. I think it's so pretty, very simple. I can definitely see Kendall wearing a piece like this. It's very elegant, very classic. Let me tell you what I paid for it. So for this skirt, I paid 195 bucks. So like pretty much $200 for this skirt, so. Really pricey. Um, again, I'm just not familiar with the brand Olivia Von Haley. Maybe I should be more educated on some of these clothing brands. I just honestly haven't heard of it before. But I will say the skirt looks gorgeous. I don't see any signs of like staining or like wear or tear. This wouldn't drag the ground, so I wouldn't assume it would have like any wear or tear on it. But it's just an elastic band black satin skirt from Miss Kendall Jenner. I'm sure she's probably worn it before since the tags are popped and it smells like a person. But we're just gonna dive right in and go into our next product. Next up, I'm gonna tear this one open actually so I get the joy of ripping paper. Okay, this one is really cute. This is, I don't know how to pronounce this brand name, but I will put it on the screen. This one is also by Kindle. It is a size extra small, which makes me a little nervous, but the top looks really trendy and but the top looks really trendy and cute. So, yeah, I can definitely see Kendall wearing this. See, these are so trendy right now. I thought this top was adorable. Again, it was like a hundred bucks. So honestly, compared to a lot of the stuff on the site, which is in the thousands per item, the pieces I got are not that crazy. However, the boots I got were really pricey, which I'm so excited to show you guys. But again, this piece is worn. Shall we give it a smell? It doesn't smell so much like a person. I would say the other pieces smell more like a person, but it looks really cute. I can't wait to try it on. And again, this was Miss Kenny's. This was Kendall Jenner's little top here. How cute is this? Oh, I'm obsessed. Oh my gosh, what is this? This piece is so heavy. I'm like, what did I buy? Let's have a look. I'm looking at my order form, by the way. I'm like, next is pants. These were Kylie's. So these are Marku pants with the tag. So maybe they just didn't work out for her, but they do, they're size 28, they are faux leather, they are a pleated trouser, and they are so heavy and nice feeling. So again, these were Kylie's. Oh my gosh, I don't think these are gonna look so, actually these may be cute on me. If these are cute on me, I have a dinner to go to tomorrow night. I might actually have to wear these. They're size 28. I don't know that they're gonna fit. I'm gonna be so sad if they don't fit me. Hopefully they will. They look really cute. Oh, they have a Farfetch tag on it. So it looks like one of the sisters, or Kylie, ordered these from Farfetch and they didn't work out for her. Farfetch is a website that sells designer pieces, but they sell designer pieces that are kind of hard to get. And they are all authentic. I've bought like some handbags and stuff off there, but everything on there is authentic, but they're just a wholesaler and basically what they do is they connect to stores all over the world and like let's say i wanted this prada bag really bad well i can go to farfetch and they may have it listed but they'll tell you it's like in this store in the uk and you can order it on farfetch and they'll ship it to you from that store if that makes sense so it's like 
kind of like a third party business. So it's interesting this has the Farfetch tag on it, meaning that Kylie must have bought these off of Farfetch. And they didn't work out for her, so they're mine. Also, they're kind of wide-legged, which I love about these. I really hope they fit. They come with this funky little belt, which I don't know about because look, the belt like hooks on the inside right here. Do you see how that's like weird? It's supposed to be like that? I don't know. I'm gonna try them on and play around with it, but did I tell you how much these suckers cost? So these pants were $2.50, not too crazy again compared to other things on their website, but they look really funky and I can't wait to try them on. Oh my gosh, the boots are in here. Ah! Oh my God, candle. Hello. You guys, these are Miss Kim. Me and Kim are the same size. That's why in the past when I've bought shoes, I like to buy Kim shoes so that way they'll fit me. Look at these boots. Oh my gosh. Oh, let's have a look. Oh my God. Okay, let me tell you a little bit about these boots. These boots cost me $800. <laughs> And they are by the brand Aquazura, Aquazua. And I got them in size seven. They were Kim's. Um, they look like they're pretty much in mint condition. They honestly don't really look like they've been worn. They look perfect. I'm really excited to try these on. Hopefully they won't be too hard to walk in because these boots are made for walking and that's just what they'll do because I'm gonna be wearing these out. I'm honestly most excited for these. I'm kind of a shoe person, um, kind of. I'm more of a shoe person actually than a bag person, I think. I could be wrong about myself, but I think I am. So I'm pretty excited about these. These are them. Let me get the other one out. Maybe she tried them on and they didn't work out for her, but they're a size 37 made in Italy. And the emblem on them is a little pineapple. It looks so cute. These boots are sickening though. I mean like these are cool boots. <laughs> so I'm, I'm sometimes in boots I run at seven and a half. So I'm really hoping they're gonna fit me. We're gonna find out in just a minute. But these look pretty sickening. I'm not gonna lie. Like I'm like impressed by how much cooler they look in person than online. However, they cost me a lot. So hopefully they'll work out, but. So with that being said, we are gonna now move on to trying everything on, giving you guys a close up look at it, see if we see any wear, wearage on these items. And yeah, let's go ahead and jump right into trying this stuff on. Okay, as you guys know from these videos, I like to give you a close up of the product. So the pants has tags. I mean, there's nothing, no markings on them or anything, but I do wanna show you the belt situation because I'm a little bit confused. So it hooks here. How weird is that, right? Like that looks kind of weird, but I'm still gonna try them on <laughs> and see how they work out. They look really cute still. But this might be funky, but I think I can get past this. So these are the Kylie leather pants we talked about. Then we have this shirt from Kindle. Now this piece does feel I don't know if you can tell the fabric. It feels like it's been worn before, like maybe washed a few times. We actually do have a hair. Can you guys see that hair right there? Um, see, this is this is where we do our crazy inspections. Um, we actually have a Kindle hair, maybe. Um, and yeah, this is definitely just, I can just tell, I don't know if you can with the fabric that it's been worn, but it should have been worn because it's a super cute shirt. I can't wait to try it on. Okay, next up we have the black satin skirt. It's so pretty, guys. I don't see any, I mean, she could have never worn this. However, it does smell like a person, like it maybe it has been worn, um, but it looks brand new, pretty much. So, really cute here. I mean, maybe it has been worn. You can see some fuzz detailing around the waistband. So, yeah, it's probably been worn, but it's super cute. We also have a little fuzzies going on, and I can't wait to try this on either. Next up, we have this shirt, which is a little bit funkier. This one, too, I don't really see. Uh, it's so soft, by the way, but I don't really see signs of wear. However, it does smell like it's been worn, so it smells like a person. Almost like a fragrance is on it. Um, so, that is that. Looks pretty much brand new. Okay, lastly, we have these booties from Miss Kim K. Again, these have to be brand new. See, I don't know about this fuzz. This could have came from my house or theirs. I don't know. But we also have, I mean, like, this is brand new. Like, this is brand new, even the heels. So, these are in perfect condition. And, again, I cannot wait to try these bad boys on. These are some pretty sick boots. Okay, friends, putting these boots on, I think I know why Kim got rid of them. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Like, ah! 
Oh my God, something's in there. What is in this boot? <gasps> no, I cannot make this up. This was inside the boot. <laughs> and it has stuff on it. I can't, I can't make this up. I swear to God, I just don't know whose dirty cloth this is, but this, this was down in her boot. What if one of her kids put it in there? I don't know why this was inside the boot, but this was in the boot. What in the world? I don't know why Kim had this in her boot. I, I just can feel in my bones like one of her four children may have stuffed this down in one of mom's boots, you know? I just pulled a dirty rag out of my used Kardashian boot. It's okay. I'm not mad about it. I'm just like honestly a little surprised. <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> but um, if this doesn't go to show you this is really used stuff from their home, I don't know what will. That was me literally putting that boot on. There was nothing in the other boot. I already have it on. But anyways, I was going to say, I think I know why Kim got rid of these because, oh my gosh, they are really hard to walk in. Show you. So the boot gives no bend no bend it is so tight and to be honest it's extremely tight on my thigh and it gives zero bend like i feel like that i'm gonna rip the skin off the back of my leg when i try to bend it do you see this i just want you to see oh like it's gonna either break my knee or something so i'm like this is why kim got rid of these oh my god i can't even show you them like i don't know if i can wear these i can walk in them but i can't sit See, I can't sit because I can't, oh, oh, I can't bend. Or I can sit with my legs out like this, but these are not practical shoes. To be honest, they're very comfortable. They're very cute. They fit me like a glove as far as like in sizing of my foot, which is very exciting for me. They came with a dirty rag. Get down, turn around. Okay, wait, we have more boot drama. So I put this outfit on, I put the boots on with it because I thought they would be cute. I'm gonna stand back here so you can see. You guys, just standing here. Look at the boot. It already broke in half. The boot broke already. I have to show you this. Like I was literally just standing there. No wonder Kim doesn't want these boots. They're terrible. They literally already broke. The heel broke. I'm so dead. Look at this. Come, came right apart. So the boots are trash. The boots are broken. I just sweated so bad trying to get those boots off. Those were impossible to get off. Oh my gosh. They snapped in half. Literally the heel broke off. So um, what the heck is this brand? Also, these were like impossible to get on and off. Like really impossible. Just a bad boot. But besides that, the top is really cute from Kendall. It looks cute on. It's a win, I love it. <laughs> and then we have the skirt here, which I took the boot off, but the skirt's still really cute. It looks really cute on. I love it, I think it's really pretty. I'll definitely be wearing it out with a different shoe. <laughs> but overall, it's really cute, you know? The skirt is a 10 out of 10, and the top is really cute too. Okay, next up is this shirt, which I think is really cute. I just paired it with a similar colored bra, but I think the shirt's really cute on. It fits really well. And yeah, you know, I just have it on with the black skirt, but I think it's really cute. And it's a win. I also like the top. So cute. All right, guys, we have the leather pants on. Let me give you a look. I think the pants look silly on me. Sorry, I'm so far away. Let me turn the phone this way. So I think the pants look silly on me because they are way too big. Um, I feel like the belt is supposed to be tighter, but it's like just not fitting correctly. And then my butt looks, what is happening back here? Oh my God, these look so crazy on me. So I thought these would be cute and I was dead wrong. Um, they're just not my size. So I think they're supposed to be loose fit, but I don't think they're supposed to be like this. Also, these pants are for a person who is I'm 5'4", so these per these are for a person that's like 5'8", because holy goodness, look at the amount of length. <laughs> They're so long. So, these were a, for me. Wah, wah. 
Hey guys, that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for being here and watching. Also, just want to give my eyeshadow a shout out today. Uh, this is my Candy Skies palette with Erin. It is available now. You guys can get the bundle. We don't have a ton of bundles left. Also, I'm wearing e-bug on my lips. That's my favorite gloss. Also, don't forget to check out Casetify if you guys want 15% off your customized phone case, your impact phone case, your psychedelic phone case, they have them all. I'll have the link right down below in my description box. Be sure and check that out. I love you guys and I will see you in my next video.